Well, howdy duty, darlings. We lost five games in a row and we <laughs> were playing yesterday in the end. We, though we won more than we lost yesterday, we fell on MMR. And now we're at 1477. But I'm 100% positive that we're going to break 1600 today. And we're going to pop right into this 1v1 match. While I'm waiting to get started, I wanted to note some changes that are occurring on YouTube to go through them a little bit. Um, so first of all, on YouTube, we're changing a little bit of how we upload content. Previously, we would just upload giant, like, eight-hour thunk or an eight-hour stream broken into, like, several three-hour chunks or something like that, which kind of made it hard for people who were looking for the highlights to get the highlights, but was great for the people who wanted to just put something on while they worked all day. So what we've done is we have taken those videos, we've, uh, we've taken those eight-hour things, and we've broken it into highlight games that are actually good and interesting. And in the description, you can find the full upload. So if you're curious, that's where they are. So that way, if you're a long-term viewer, you can still get the long-term viewer. If you're not, great. I'm going to go ahead and go for Heavy Armor Specialist. I like Arc Light and Sledgehammer with Marksman. It's just a super stable composition. All right, so I'll do my usual formations. One of these here, one of these here. I'll put one in the middle because I never know what to do with it. I'll unlock the marksman and put them on the outside. So that's the first change is that we are doing more individual, like 20 minute videos of a good match. Um, or in some cases, a horrifically comically bad match and so on and so forth. Also, now that we're putting work into YouTube, after many years of people asking, hey, can you turn on like subscription type support? on there. On Twitch, if you're watching on Twitch, there's the $5 a month subscription and optional 10 and 25. It's frankly all optional, all the content's free anyways. We finally turn that stuff on to YouTube. So at least once a day, someone comes in and says, hey, I'm, wow, this is horrible placement for me. No, this is amazing placement for me. This is the best ever. Never mind, this is great. At least a couple times a week, someone comes in and says, hey, I really want to subscribe, but I don't use Twitch. So there we go, we actually have it on YouTube now. And you get badges. There's a three, five, 10, and 25 to kind of line up with uh, this, with this platform. And uh, we've labeled that as the, an intern, an associate, a director. And at the $25 tier, you get to be day nine himself. You get to be me. What am I going to do here? What do I actually want to do? Do I want to make overlords against this? I'm going to get none of these. I just like sledges here. I'm going to put another barricade of sledges on this. I mean, this has been giving me far and away the most success lately. I'm going to unlock Fang because it's free. I do want crawlers eventually. All right. Overlords. Interesting. I've not actually played against that many overlords, but I think that in this situation, we might not need to do anything because sledgehammers are just very good at absorbing stuff. I think sledgehammers are maybe the most overtuned thing right now. They feel really, really good. Like a single marksman can take this thing out solo as long as there's enough stuff in the front. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to win this on this on the back of a single marksman. I was kind of shocked to find that overlords don't actually have a lot of health. Like, for comparison, an overlord has 12,000 health. A fortress has 55,000 health. It's pretty good. Here we go. Intelligent marksman, absolutely what we want to do. I think that I will actually, hmm, I can go marksman, marksman, have 400 left and get range on marksman. That seems good. I'm going to do that. Hmm, I could also go plus and plus, spend 450, and I can get some level 2 marksman. Yeah, I'm going to do that. 
deal a little bit more damage with this one on this side. Because there is a boat here, and I know that there is a boat here. Unlock crawlers, which I want to get eventually. My opponent might be a symmetric player, but they clearly are leaning a little bit more on this side. Yeah. Symmetric gaming indeed. So I think that now the correct decision is actually to make a bunch of crawlers and chaff to get in front. In this way, the snipers will be shooting our crawlers. Fangs also seem acceptable here as some slow chaff. I mean, this has just been really straightforward, this sledgy marky kind of play. Nice job, Arclight. Fuck yeah. With some chaff there, I think that'll be very, very good. Yeah, I mean... The sheer power of Morkmans. There it is! There it is! I think the reason Marksman feels so good is that in, like, strategy games... Non-giant? Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I will... I will not forget to get barriers. I will not forget to get barriers. One. Two. Holy shit, I did it. I fucking did it. I didn't forget barriers. I'm gonna get some level one of these. I want these far back enough that they are not the immediate thing that is taking a lot of damage. I did it. Yeah, I, I think that if 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 you said Sean, you need to make balance changes to this game right away. As a as a game developer, day nine, I trust your opinion more than most. Wow, didn't even blow that. Nice. Uh, I I think that the I think sledgehammers are a little over tuned. I think arc lights are a little over tuned. I think marksmen are a little. Good stuff. Good stuff. Perfect. Part of me wanted to get Giant Hunter, but I think that the Intelligent Marksman is just superb. I think Lightning Storm is really, really insanely good. But I think that I'm going to be winning soon. Yeah, I'm going to get the lightning storm and just plop that turkey, like, right here. And still put another shield here. How do I actually want to do this? I think I'm going to get elites and get... Oh, what did I do wrong with my math? Oh, that's right. This is... I, I'm making a mistake. Here. That's okay. All right. So I think we're going to win this round still. Fortresses are pretty good. really need to begin getting ranged. Fortresses are great because snipers are not actually that good against them until you get a lot of snipers. And they absorb so many shots and they deal so much damage to the sledgies. They basically one-shot sledgies. Look at this. 7.5k. And this has 7.5k uh, health. Wait, why is it showing the sledgehammer is having that much health? Something went wrong with the display. All right, whatever. I'll click and show now. I think I'm gonna try to win on this round. Probably with a melter.
But I do I do have this problem where like all this shit is so cheap, dude. So here's actually what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I, I've changed my mind as to what my plan's gonna be. I'm gonna get fangs. In the front. I'm gonna get the shields. This just always feels very positive. I'm gonna spend, spend my remaining 150 on these. I, I still don't have range for the marksman. Okay, okay, so this this is this is the moment where I can explain to you why I think these things are so good. I think that um, the missile interceptors make sledge marksmen like just such a good generic composition. Wow, that shit died so fast, I can't even believe it. We may still win. But these um, Storm Boys are doing a lot. I mean, this is actually uh, just a ton of damage. Nice. Okay. Stormcaller's roasted me so hard. Um... Do I feel like I really need melters? So I, I actually have decided I'm going to change my mind here. Because I, I was talking a lot about melters, but here's the thing. I, I think that genuinely, these little missile interceptor dies are insane. And what I'm going to do is, if I spend 100 on this, the sledgehammers will be 250, so that would be 500. Right now, these deal 7.5k, and because I got the 30% more HP, these no longer get one shot. My level 1s will. I think the fangs and the upgrade for the fangs were a mistake. My opponent doesn't really have a lot of good AoE, so I feel like crawlers are probably good here. Yeah, I think this is good. I'm gonna get this. Alright, whoops. Oh, he's got Flamio Hot Hands. So I think that what we'll need to do now is we will, broadly speaking, want to get... Um, we'll, broadly speaking, want to be getting something with EMP for these fortresses. The range on the Fist is 180 meters? Yeah. For comparison, these have a range of 180 meters. All right. Nice. Wait, missile interceptors shoot fist? What? Okay, so how do I actually wish to do this? Huh. Alright, time to double up on that shit. Okay, I'm gonna get the nuke. First things first. I didn't realize how good this was. All right. I 
don't I do this? Did it over here then? Fang, fang. Buff. Fang. I want some more chaff to come at the front, and I, I may, I may be over chaffing. I may be over chaffing a little bit. I'll get speed. All right, my opponent, actually. So I, what I'm doing is instead of saying, hey, let me get EMP to deal with this shit, I'm saying, hey, let me get two of these to deal with this shit. Oh, wow, that, that died way faster than I thought it would. Well, this is, this is truly bad, then. This is really... All right, this is the game. Oh, my opponent tried to do some sort of flank. Okay, sure. I think I actually won on both sides pretty badly. But I can't be sure. Yeah, here's my here's my fangs that just ate a nuke with their shield. Dude, the missile interceptors. Oh my god. Alright. Clean his game. Clean game. Clean game, kinda just straightforward, I think. Oh shit, I called it early. How embarrassing. Um, ugh. Ugh, uh, hmm, hmm. Remember when Day9 called it early? How embarrassing that was. All our missile interceptors have lived on this side. I really do like this thing. What was on the sides? Crawlers on the sides? How embarrassing. I think I, I, I am obsessed with speed. Upgrade all my main turkeys. How do I actually want to do this? I have, like, very few upgrades in this game. I think I'm actually going to do this as well, I think. Hmm. I want to do this. Kind of like getting a little bit more sturdiness. And yeah. All right, all right, okay. All right, remember when I called it? Okay. All right, my opponent has decided the boats are goats. Who has EMP here? Someone is EMPing me. I'm winning on all sides, it looks like. Losing on all sides, it looks like. Alright. Huh. This is the game. This is the game. Oh my god, do you remember when Day9 called it early and still lost? <laughs> oh, shit. So there's 800 damage. I don't think that this is 1,000 damage. I think this is going to be... Oh, this is going to be a close one. Whoopsie daisies. Ah, uh, ooh. Okay, okay. Everything's fine. Everything is actually... I think it's actually all fine. Um, goodness. I kind of want to get this Elite Marksman. I kind of also want to get several Stormcallers with the EMPs. Let me do this. Do this. Um, 
so if I do. Let's do like this. Ish. Did I? Have I? Did I throw? Oh, barriers. Barriers, bit of an issue. My opponent got the Vulcan drop. Oh, that's fucking really bad news. So my opponent is definitely cooler because they're getting giant units, and I'm just doing this sledgehammer marksman stuff. Alright, so I mean, we, we are disabling some shit, which is good. If you want to know why I won this round, I, I could not tell you. I think the fact that I'm disabling these fortresses... Okay, so here's what I think is happening. I think that what happened is that the fortresses were shooting their, their fisty things at my sledgehammers and blowing them up really quickly. Because we won with sledgehammers on this side when there was an ion storm on this side. The acid did not... Okay, because if, if I return... Oh, whoops, I meant to look at it. If I... Um, okay, here's what I think happened. On the left, the acid didn't really do very much. They didn't even wind up standing in the acid. On the right, the, the storm did huge stuff. Great. But in the previous rounds, what I was saying was, hey, what if I just use rockets? Uh, excuse me, what if I use interceptors to deal with the rockets? Wouldn't that be great? And I saw some of them get shot down, but there's so much happening in those fights that what I think actually was occurring was that the rocket fists from the fortress, which do a huge amount of damage, they deal 1,500 damage in an area. I think they were blasting through my sledgehammers really quickly. So I think that what I needed to do was actually get EMP for the fortresses earlier on. That's actually a really helpful thing to to see. Man, we got crunched, huh? All right. I mean, we won, but... Ugh. 